This morning, we woke to the news of the sad and tragic passing of Dr. John Pombe Magufuli, President of the Republic of Tanzania. And our heartfelt condolences and sympathies go out to the people of the Republic of Tanzania. We join with you in mourning and grieving this great man. Dr. Magufuli stood out amongst African leaders as one person who was willing to resist the status quo. One person who was willing to stare down the authority and the influence of the global elites who were gradually taking a grip of this world. Dr. Magufuli was a lion among men and we celebrate the life that he lived. We celebrate the courage with which he stared down every opposition that he stared down. And we stand in solidarity with you, the people of Tanzania, to mourn this great man, but not only that, to pick up the pieces where he left off and to continue this struggle to liberate Africa in the truest sense, financially, mentally, socially, and in every other aspect that God will give us grace to do so. You are with us in our prayers that nothing is going to come to fill the gap that Dr. Magufuli has left except that which God has expressly chosen for you. That no one is going to sneak in with any shady agendas to try and undo the good work that he had done for the nation of Tanzania that every good work that he has done will continue to stand and to resound through the ages, and that faithful and good leaders will be found to continue to push the agenda that he was pushing. Truly, it was for the liberation of Africa. And many more who were watching ought to understand this. Sadly, there are those amongst us, Africans, who have looked upon his death with mocking, who are looking upon him and everything that he did was ridicule. We do not support that position in any way, shape or form. What has happened here is as tragic as what happened to Libya's leader, Muammar Gaddafi. What has happened here is as deeply troubling and tragic as what happened to Zimbabwe's great leader, Robert Mugabe. Africa, we must pay attention to what is going on on the global playing field. Now, please take note. We're not saying that he was murdered. We have no information concerning what happened surrounding his death. We are saying that for Africans to make a mockery of the death of a great leader who stood for what he stood for is a tragedy. It is unacceptable in our book. We must, as Africans, be able to identify those amongst us who stand for truth, those amongst us who stand for integrity, those who are the ones who are building a wall to protect the continent of Africa against infiltration by Western influences and Eastern influences that are trying to bring our great continent to its knees once again, trying to turn us into or keep us as slaves for those who want to use us for our resources, physical resources and people resources alike. And Dr. Magufuli was one who had seen the game and he stood against the tide that was coming to swallow the continent of Africa. That is why we as Msingi Africa stand with the people of Tanzania and with all those of like mind who understand that this is a tragedy and a loss. But also, like one of our viewers said today to us in a WhatsApp message, that we would be able to pick up the strands and the threads of what these great people were building and what these great people were fighting against and find in our midst and in our own hearts the courage to do so, to resist the darkness that seeks to destroy this beautiful great continent of light. So once more, our commiserations to the people of Tanzania and all those who are mourning this great leader. Our prayers are with you. And let this be a warning to the young men and women of Africa. 
when you see a great leader, a giant who has fallen, don't think that this falling cannot happen to you. Instead, turn your mind and your heart towards wisdom to understand that each life has a great purpose to be fulfilled and to ask yourself, what am I doing in my place of responsibility and authority to live out a great life that will impact my corner of the world, my corner of Africa, the way that it was intended to do. The reason that I was born, am I living it out to the fullest extent possible? Such that when my own time comes, I will quietly and joyfully go, knowing that I did my part. Let us be wise, each and every one of us, in our considerations and our reflections at this point in time. Thank you for your time. Today's video was brought to you by a friend of Tuna Cheki. Are you an African YouTuber who's passionate about African issues and want to join our Friends of Tuna Cheki community? Send us an email at tunacheki at gmail.com and we might just feature your video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our African videos. Remember to leave your suggestions on topics that you'd like us to cover in the comments below.